The Utah Jazz on the road taking on the Brooklyn Nets and Joe Johnson coming out firing. Brooklyn goes up 12-2. Johnson 2-3 of three from range on the game. Later, it's Brooke Lopez with the spin move and the Nets on a 7-0 run. They lead it by 11. Still first quarter off a fast break. Gordon Hayward drives through the lane for the left-handed layup. That's nicely done and that cuts the lead all the way down to 1, 19-8. In the second quarter, Rodney Hood drives through the paint and lays this one in. He had 16 points on the game. The Jazz up 32 to 30. Still second quarter action. Chris Johnson finds Rudy Gobert for the two-handed slam. And the Jazz at the half led it by eight, 48 to 40. Into the second half we go, Gordon Hayward finds Gobert for the one-handed stuff there. Watch it again, uh, the Jazz go up by a dozen. 54-42, Gobert had 10 points on the game. Later in the third quarter, Gordon Hayward finds Trey Lyles open for the two-handed slam, and Utah just cruising at this point. They're up 63-46. We got ourselves a Smitty's Under the Rim nominee. Gordon Hayward crosses past his defender and finishes with the reverse layup, and if it's a Smitty's Under the Rim nominee, we're going to give you a replay. Utah goes up. 71 to 50 and Gordon Hayward finished with 21 points on the game. Later in the third off a fast break, it's that man again, Gordon Hayward for the two-handed slam, 80 to 55 and we're still going with this highlight. Trey Burke finds Trevor Booker in the paint for the stuff and Utah gets the win, 108 to 86.